That is grim. <laughs> oh, that was fucked. <gasps> oh, you're Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be reacting to the brand new Wrong Turn film. It literally just came out on streaming platforms today. I feel kind of weird about it, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like, I remember watching the first one, like actually when did the first one come out? 2003, so the first one came out when I was six. Not that I watched it when I was six, but like I watched it when I was pretty young. I reckon I was maybe like 10. 10 or 11 the first time I watched it and I'm now 23 so it feels quite strange to know that there's a new one out after it what it's been like five six maybe even seven years since the last one which was utter dog shit might I add. I'm unsure of it because obviously for a long time it's been going down the same kind of line as a lot of other horror movie franchises in that they just make more and more and more no matter how shit they get they just keep pumping them out are we getting like three finger and you know the ones that we're used to or is it going to be a complete reboot i'm intrigued it should be interesting it's probably going to be shit i think we all know that at this point but we will find out Pretty girl. There must be one proud papa. Who's the black fella? Darius Clements. It's her boyfriend. They were traveling with a group of their friends. The last place that she texted me was here. My boy's down in Tampa playing keyboard in some rockabilly band. I can't remember the last time that boy picked up a phone. My daughter's not like that. Most are gone by sunup, trying to catch flights or beat traffic. And there was nothing left in the room? No. Lose something? My daughter. She passed through here with five of her friends. They got lost in them woods. You might as well just go on home. Because you ain't never going to find them. Nature eats everything it catches right down to the bone. Doesn't give a shit if it's a cute girl. Do you have kids? What would you do? OK, interesting. That, do you know, that is interesting that we're getting it set up like this because obviously in the other ones most of the time you'd see people die and then it would cut to other people that are heading in so it's interesting that we've got someone looking for people and we're cutting back to them going in and whatever's happened now kiss me can i get something <laughs> oh the old barbed wire <laughs> you know uh yeah, the cinematography is a lot more, right. like, a Don't lot different to what power. the original ones are like. He taught me two things. How to bait a hook and how to change a tire. My dad taught me how to put in a tampon. Single parent. His eyes were closed the whole time. Not a good experience. Ooh. What? Three rooms for two nights. Uh, yes. Uh-oh. Thanks. Don't worry. I'll keep him on a short leash. So, we've already seen that the sheriff made a comment about her boyfriend being black, which obviously wasn't a very bad comment, but you know, there was undertones there. And then there's just been a little side glance at the gay couple. Is this gonna be like a town-wide thing, similar to what it was like when they were at the hotel in the most recent one? That like everyone knows what's going on except from the targets? Piece of advice, keep to the marked trail. The land here can be unforgiving. We'll be careful. Well, we obviously know who our final girl is, don't we? Why wouldn't you hold my hand? Nothing. No reason. Oh, there's a reason. Same reason Darius is on edge. What? He's a black dude with a white girlfriend in bumfuck Virginia. Y'all ain't brown here, are you? Why would you go there? If you know that you're likely to be around people who aren't very forgiving of what you look like, your sexuality or your lifestyle or anything, why would you go there? Especially when you know that some people are fucking crazy. So if you got any questions or you need a guide, you and my pals over here, we uh, know this land like the back of our hands. Driving around in your shitty pickup, sipping moonshine, all right? Stop it. What'd you say, Peckerwood? Don't look at me, boy. You goddamn hipster freaks are the problem with this whole world. Have you ever worked a real fucking job in your life? So you better sit the fuck still and behave yourself. You're wrong. Yeah, I shall forgot. My boyfriend Darius runs a sustainable energy nonprofit. Mila's an oncologist. Adam's an app developer. 
Gary and Luis have a pair of New York bistros. Yeah, you're right, and, oh, I, I, and I get what you're trying to do, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> but right now I'm looking at you and I'm seeing some yellowing in your eyes. Which means what, Mila? Um, it, it, it could be liver problems, and jaundice, hepatitis, Gilbert syndrome. You should probably see a doctor, actually. You kids be safe. Maybe we'll see you again. Right. People in horror films are so stupid. I don't under- I get what she's trying to do. And yes, she is right. You stand up for yourself. But not when it's people who are already coming across very creepy and, you know, just- You don't need to have that altercation there. Just let it be. Just- Because you don't know what someone like that's capable of. Like, come on. Hey, Diane. Luis? Gary? I'm talking to you. Do you know, surprisingly though, all these characters are- fairly likeable so far and usually in these films there's at least a few that you can't stand hey adam relax hey get away from the car man i mean that could have been three finger and silhouette i don't think he's gonna be in this but who knows i want to build a community where people are valued on their skills and their character not their bank account or skin color Oh, he's gonna Everyone die. Works. He's gonna die, and I like him the most so far. They're all gonna die, except from her. Or, they're all just gonna die. But I'm guessing she's gonna at least make it through to her dad finding her, and then maybe they'll both die. Who knows? Yikes. Wow. No grotesque sex scene? No nudity? What? Is this the right film? Did you make all this? Some. Is she yours? In a manner. It takes a village to raise a child, isn't that what they say? She's probably so her sister, kind of her bad. niece, her fucking who knows what else. No. This is fucking awesome! See, it is beautiful as well, but then as soon as that becomes nighttime, that becomes the scariest place. Quick little side trip, guys. What? It's supposed to be a very well-preserved civil war fort near here. The woman at the end said we shouldn't leave the trail. It's just a quick look around. Maybe Bro, listen we'll to her. Over to the trail. Listen to you know her. Wouldn't have found. She said it. yes. <laughs> there. How much longer is this gonna take? Look, it's it's just a little further. Okay, I promise. Okay. No. I mean, you were just stupid about where you were walking. That wasn't his fault. You could see there was an edge. What is that? Was oh, this gonna be the big massive tree that was in the advert? Yeah. Where did the tree drop? Shit. Oh, things took a turn quite, quite there, didn't they? He left me. He left me. I know. I know. How did he leave you? Yeah, I was freaking out. You all just ran. Oh my God, there is your finger. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. That is good for him. <laughs> One of them's dead. Although, considering what's going to happen to the rest of them, he's probably lucky. Oh, that was fucked. Get that was fucked. Do not fucking touch me. That was fucked. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is fucking awful, okay? But it's nobody's fault. Yeah. Luis, I'm sorry, man. I'm fucking sorry, man. I think someone's up there. Someone's up there. He won't be here alone. I feel for you, man. We're lost! Yeah, we should probably camp out for the night. I'm not leaving Gary out there in the woods overnight for animals and insects and whatever the fuck! It's not Gary anymore. The spirits moved on. That's what he believed, right? Paradise now is happy. Oh, God. Come here, man. I'm just waiting for the arrows to start okay. flying. Do you know what? And like I was saying before, they're all relatively nice people as well. Like, she's probably the most boring out of all of them. But none of them are like proper dickheads like there has been in previous films. Oh fuck that. 
Fuck that. Where's Mila? I didn't feel her get up. I'm sure she's fine. You thought you saw someone after the tree fell, and then again last night, and now our fucking phones are gone. I promised her that I wouldn't fucking leave her again. I, fuck, I fucking promised her that. He's I, gonna I die. Something that is a bit odd is that straight from the get go, they try to paint him as like the dickhead of the group, when obviously he does have dickhead tendencies, but he generally seems to be a good guy. The fact he was trying to comfort the other guy after his boyfriend's been killed and, you know, he's, he's obviously dedicated to his girlfriend and stuff like that. And he's got his head screwed on, right? He's the only one putting two and two together. So I'm kind of confused as to what they were trying to do with his character. I actually find it kind of hilarious how confused I am in this clip because the reason that I'm confused is because for once in these films they actually gave us characters that weren't just two-dimensional, they actually made them complex. Usually in these films, like, if someone's a dick, that's their only personality trait, like they're the dick. Or if there's a girl that's slutty, she is just a slut, she just wants to have sex, there's nothing else about her personality for, for them to show. And so... It's just funny that I'm so confused because this guy isn't just a dick, like he has something else to offer. Oh fuck that. I saw her in town. Hey! Don't follow her. Don't walk towards her. Don't follow her, don't follow her, don't follow her. You idiot. She's literally just luring you. Let's cut on something. Guys! shit. It's interesting that they haven't, you know, look, because they're not gonna, they're not gonna shy away from the kills. So they're both still alive because they, they're not gonna kill them off screen. And if they do, this should not be a wrong turn film. So I guess they're all just gonna get kidnapped and I, I guess like start getting killed together. It's like a lost and found for the whole mountain. Don't just run at them, you need a plan! You need a plan! Put him the fuck down! Hey, 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 hey. I don't understand. You asked the friend. Friend. Was her friend, did you take her? Did you? Did you kill her? Can you understand? You're speaking! Speaking! You okay, well. You killed her! Oh, she actually did. Oh, damn. Where's the other one? His girlfriend can't be dead. I had to. They killed her. They wouldn't know. She's not. Yeah. You're alive. I'm alive. What is it? You just killed this man for no reason. They dragged me into a fucking hole. Trust me up like a goddamn Christmas turkey. Who knows what they were going to do to me? Look at him. He's, he's, a, he's a fucking animal. He's right. Listen, listen. There's just one fucking uh, yeah. dead guy on the ground. Just and, and the leave, man. Right. This is and, not and the time to debate this. Just go and Keep work out what you're going to do later. Goes. We got to get the fuck out of here, guys. Yes, Come on, let's not go. time or place to debate. Just leave. If you really need to talk about it, do it while walking. Yes. We've done nothing wrong. We've nothing to hide. Jesus. Fucking quit it with the morality police bullshit, Jen. You're clueless about what you want for your own blessed all-American white girl life, and yet you know exactly what's right for everybody else. You honestly, not know what's right and wrong. Not knowing what you want to do with your life is not the same as being able to say it's wrong to kill someone. Plus, there is no right or wrong here. Like, he acted in rage because he was scared of what, what they were going to do to him. So, like, yeah, it's bad, but, like... It's not like it was just straight up murder. Like he didn't just randomly go out and kill someone. Like he felt threatened. So it's not, it's not as black and white as she's trying to make it. <gasps> no! Oh! I thought that was fully gonna like burst his head open there. I think these people aren't monsters. It's really odd that they've not killed anyone yet, other than obviously the guy with the tree. It's, it's odd that there's so many of the group still alive and that the traps haven't been fatal. It's odd. Usually like the, the chain one of him getting pulled, it would pull him into something that would automatically kill him. And and normally something like that that would swing down from the tree, like I fully thought that was gonna be straight in his face and like explode. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. It's just weird because it's not following the same kind of formula as the other films, which could be a good thing. Who knows, we'll see. You bet to get snatched. Oh, 
Oh, you fucker. What, he's dressed as a tree? What? Getting snatched. Police? Oh, God, it's them. It's them. Go right now, we have to go! Don't ah! run! Have you not you learned? Good job. Run! And how has he not learned not to just run aimlessly? Oh. Oh damn. She fucked. Get me out of here. Oh, and he's gonna leave her. I'll be right back. No, don't. I'm gonna, oh god. I'm gonna go get some help. No. Fuck you! Oh. Like surely she know she knows she's gonna die. You would think she would have told him to go. Oh, bro. Oh. The thing is, like, they still haven't really done anything for them to be that scared. Obviously, like, it's it's freaky, and um, there's obviously a lot of stuff been going on, and like, they were clearly gonna do something when they had them. Um, the other guy all tied. Find yourself which is a choice she made to avoid making a choice. How about focus on my boys, our boys? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. You're a boot. He doesn't have to put all of his attention into one thing. He can focus on multiple people at a time. <laughs> what is going on? And they're all normal looking. I'm just not getting why they're all still alive as well. Surely there can't realistically be a community of that many people living there without people knowing. Neil. I'm done with this bullshit. Oh no. Just Neil. Fuck just you. Neil. Oh. There, they'll kill you, man. Oh no. Yeah, bitch. Looking. What? I... This is court. You're on trial. For what? Murder. Bullshit! We didn't murder anybody! <clears throat> Only you will speak. Tell us what you saw. Boyce, Boyn, Samuel. Oh, yeah. Boy, uh, by a fierce. What are you saying? Samuel and I were out hunting. To stalking moose. And elk for the winter lot. We're checking our game traps in the cave where Cot's game is dragged to keep predators from getting to it. And we found this stranger. We were taking him down the mountain. We planned to leave him where he'd be found. Is that true though? When these others attacked us, he killed my brother Samuel. We didn't know. Did this man murder? Morgan's brother Samuel lie and dread will fall on each of you. No. Oh. He didn't murder him. Yikes. <laughs> Ruthie, who killed Samuel? You lied to this court. He, he killed this man in self defense. It's not murder. We thought they were taking him somewhere to kill him. Why did you think this? Had you met any of our people? Had we caused you any harm? I mean, I did say it, that they didn't actually have any reason to be afraid, really. Other than, obviously, the, the tree and stuff is like, you would shit yourself, especially that one of them would kill. But like, the actual people never really gave them a reason. The sentence is dead. Of course what? It is. Oh, it was a mistake. I, I didn't know what they were doing. Oh! Get back! Oh, oh bro, you're, you're dead. dead. He's obviously not gonna hurt her. He's just using it as a threat. This shit's already worse. He's fucked now. Okay. Like, Fuck. You're dead, bro. Oh. No, you're so fucked. Now you're so fucked. The rest of you. <laughs> oh, God. How was Samuel murdered? It was drug in the head. With this. <laughs> Don't do this. Please. Please. It's wrong. It's barbaric. Our families built this place. 
We have everything we need. Everyone contributes. We have no cancer, no poverty, no war, no one hates another because they have one another does You're still gonna murder people. Do you know what? The whole concept of these people is not bad. There are plenty of communities that do that. Just take themselves away, do their own thing, and it's all good, it's all fine. But the minute you start taking the law into your own hands and try to get revenge on people for murder or whatever it might be, that's when there's a fucking issue, you know? No! No, no. Oh, his leg was still twitching there, that was minging. Here, you see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Oh, this bitch. D Darius works in non-profit. He works in sustainable energy. What the hell are you doing? He's designed homes, neighborhoods, communities to be self-sufficient. You need problems solved. That's what he does. What do you offer? Myself? Oh, God. Who well, among your men needs a wife? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Open your mouth. Spread your legs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spread your yes. life. Oh, fuck you, bitch. You stand down. If you don't contribute, you'll end up here. How was that gonna be their punishment for lying? And the other guy, I know that it was a brutal death, but he he was just killed. Whereas here, it's torture and shoved in a fucking cave until I'm presuming you die. They're probably not gonna be getting food and water in there. Like they're just gonna sit there until they die. How 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 do the people that lied get worse than the guy that killed the, the guy in their community? What? Please don't hate me. Why is he gonna hate you? You literally saved both of you. Had no wife for a year. Naturally. I hope her dad comes and fucking kills you, mate. Oh god. Oh, get yourself out. No, 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 no. I'm glad they didn't show it, but... Obviously, you know what happened. I want Darius to survive, though. Can Darius... Can we have a final boy, please? That's what I want, a final boy. I don't really care about her. She's a bit too high and mighty for my liking. There are people living on that mountain. The foundation. In 1859, a dozen or so families packed up and fled up the mountain and wanted to protect their way of life. These descendants of these people are still living up there on the mountains? We don't bother them and they don't bother us. I'm confused because this is not a wrong turn film. This should have been a, a, just a completely stand a standalone new horror film. And it's not even horror either because you're not seeing anything. They've just said like they're, they're just a community of people who, you know, wanted to keep you know, the the old ways alive and blah, 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 blah. And I felt like they were insinuating that they don't hurt people because he, he was talking about how they hunt elk and moose and stuff like that. But then she's just saying there that people that go up there are fair game, they disappear. So they are killing people. Ah! Ah! Oh, this don't listen, do you, man? The girl is dead, and you don't want to find what's left. Not dead. Why, why would you jump him? Because now he knows that there's definitely something going on. If you just left him to his own devices, he would have went up there and got killed. Oh, the police should gonna drive right past. Yeah, sheriff man. Yeah. Then he knows for a fact that there's something up. And it's his daughter, like, he's not just gonna leave. I can help you. We go now. You got gear? Can't go up there dressed for no lady tea. I've already said this, but I keep thinking of other stuff. Like, they said, the, the guy that was like explaining about how his brother was killed, he said that they found the guy injured and they were taking him down the mountain. I know obviously you can't take all these people's, you know, what they say for, for fact, but it just seems a bit like a pointless thing to add in the script. You know what? It's like this film had two writers one that wanted to go with the cannibal hillbillies 
that just kill anyone that comes on the mountain and another writer that wanted to humanise these people and make it look like they were only killing people if they did them wrong. And it's like they they just they made the film without coming to an agreement about which one they were gonna do. So there's so many elements to it that just don't match up. Basically, it just confuses me that the writers tried so hard to humanise these people and show that they weren't just mindless killers, but then in actual fact they are, because they kill anyone that goes up the mountain. It just, it, 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 what? Come on, help me pull him out. Give me the other hand. Oh dear. <laughs> you did not just try to check his fucking pulse. Come on. Well, he seems to have gotten pretty far without being detected by them. He's literally got to the fence of their community. Is that Darius? It is. Darius? He's not actually become one of them, surely. It's only been six weeks, so he can't actually have been like indoctr indoctrinated into this world. People don't adjust that fast to psychotic behaviour. Oh, was that hurt? Shut up. They have to just be playing along with it. It's been six weeks! And from what I saw, they didn't have any like brainwashing serums. What you my daughter? This woman is not your daughter, my wife. Stranger, guilty of trespass. The sentence is darkness to be carried out at. She playing you, bro. You're a fucking idiot. You shot me with an arrow. They would have killed us both. Oh, Darius, come on. That's Darius, isn't it? Yeah. What is this? Tomorrow morning they're gonna kill my dad. I bet he has actually been brainwashed into it. He actually going. believes it now. <sighs> I liked you! Ooh. You were my favourite! I belong to them. Bro! <sighs> Why do I always like the characters that become fucking psychos? Oh fuck you. Fuck you. I was written for you, prick. Little girl, surely gonna help. They've got like a, a bond. Fuck Darius, man. I'm so annoyed. What's happened to the other guy? The one that they did take his eyes and stuff. They just shoved him in the cave. I'd like to, a little, you know, catch up of what actually happened to him. Through there. Wait, isn't that where the other guy is? No way. How, right, 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 right. How? How? I already said this, but even now, now we're actually seeing it. How did the guy that was the reason that they were put on trial, how did he get killed like that? And just for lying, they were going to be put in there. Just... To, to wither away and starve to death after being tortured. And he said, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. So we can't see, cause fucking took your eyes. I'm guessing they did the tongue and the ears as well, or like the, the mouth and the ears. Cause again, we didn't see it on screen, so I don't know. So severe torture and then starve to death. How, how is that? I. Uh... Ah, <sighs> he's still alive because they'll have been eating each other. He definitely had it worst, and he did fuck all wrong. So literally turning regular people into cannibals effectively as well because they have to to survive in that hole. <laughs> bye, bitch. Bye. I know where you're going. Oh, they're both gone. Okay. Bye, bitch. Bye. Hope your dad cries about that. Can't smell your juices. This fucking creep. Okay, bro. Like that. He's he's dead. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Big bro. What's that about? I know they're trying to show that she's like real fucked up and stuff. 
a little bit much. Like this isn't, I know it's all very nice and sweet and you're back together, but you need to go. Like, you gotta go. Told you I'd see oh, you again. Oh, for fuck's sake, man, really? Well, wait a minute, we're here to help. There, I figured a good beat down I'd send your ass packing. And you, that yellow in my eyes, was my liver turning on me. My nephew disappeared in these woods six years ago. The fucking foundation. I'm about to shoot every one of those sons of bitches. Ah! Ah! Fuck is it? Run! Darius? No. Matt, he needs to die. I mean, I'm just proud of you. And remember, it's pizza movie night, so don't be late. Boys pick something with inbred cannibals. Because you'd really want to watch that, <laughs> wouldn't you? What's going on here? Something needs to happen because we're seeing too much. This isn't necessary. Is it Darius? Is it Darius? Uh, meet our new neighbors. Nothing is set in stone yet. Well, it uh -huh. turns out. And I see you are eating for two. <gasps> yeah, go and fucking kill him. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my house. Put your weapon down, or I kill your family. Now it's time to come home. What's the point? You have to kill me. Yeah, but not until our child is born. Hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, but he is there. That was so John unnecessary. You're carrying my child. So. Promise me you won't hurt them. Uh, see if she actually goes back. You'll never come back here. You have my word. I just can't be arsed. This land is yours. Oh, I just assumed that they couldn't fucking drive because they would have never learned, but okay. She just murdered them all. Right, bro, you might want to stop because you're in broad daylight. Do you know what? This wasn't a bad film. It wasn't a great film. It wasn't a bad film. It wasn't a wrong turn film. I know the, the production company and stuff, they probably wanted to... You know, they were hoping that the hype of a new wrong turn film would get them, like, more viewership and make them more money. But it's not a wrong turn film, it should have been a completely standalone film. I'm just a bit confused to be honest, like, if you can tell through the whole fucking thing. It's just, it's not... It's not a wrong turn film. But I don't think it's a bad film. And I'm pissed that they made Darius turn into some fucking weird ass psycho, because I actually really liked him. I just want to quickly interject and give this film some last minute props for actually giving us some complex characters. I know I've already said it previously, but... You know, it was just nice to see characters that were more than just one particular stereotype. And something as well, they actually they made me care about these characters, which I never have in any of the other films because the characters are, ne are never developed enough. In this, I actually cared about what happened to them. And like, I mean, you even saw like the way I was with, um, you know, the guy that was in the cave, like how, how much he didn't deserve that. Usually in one of these films, probably wouldn't have cared because we wouldn't have seen as much of him, you know? And yeah, and I also just want to say about how good they were at reminding us about the people that had already been killed off because, a lot, again, a lot of the time in these films, as soon as someone dies, like, yeah, there's that instant reaction of people being upset, but then the film just moves on and it's like they're forgotten about. And this film didn't do that. They actually, you know, they, they made it clear that the people who continued on did love these people and did lose these people and I think that was something good to see in one of these films. I mean I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. I feel like it might have been a bit more on the commentary side than reaction but um, that's kind of gonna happen when you watch a film that's derived from films that you've watched a fair bit. Um, if you have any recommendations for new films that are coming out or anything like that then let me know. And yeah I guess I'll just see you in my next video. Oh, you gotta, you gotta in my it's making me wish that the zombies were real